everybody it's bob boob the real estate guy actually hi here's this bob boob the real estate guy oh man he's so strange looking let's not look at him very long hey i'm doing a video tour tour yeah okay big tour i can't talk today video tour of 75 ruthie's lane i'm in uh weemsport pennsylvania old lake coming township got a lot to show you here um property has about two acres with it of course there's a lower garage here we'll go down there last i think you can kind of see there's a metal roof on that of course has the, the garage door here you have an older mobile home with looks like a metal roof on there too we don't have any title information on the trailer the county assessment has that it's 1976 um if that's accurate or not we don't really have any knowledge but uh you can see here um now here's the back or the north side of the property has a big garage here then a little carport ding 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 ding, ding. see where my finger is there and of course the super cool red jeep is not included that's my ride there but just kind of spinning around here so you can see here where there's a the mobile home and of course that was a frame st uh, stick built addition whatever year that was put on okay i'm just gonna keep walking and talking here a little bit okay so you got about actually let me show you some about two acres here i'm gonna show you a map that i printed off so you kind of see here where we're looking north here's the big quonson hut uh type garage here of course there's the home mobile home and then over the hill there was that was that uh block garage all right the reason i'm gonna show you that see what i have taped here in my super cool awesome jeep see this map i don't know how good that shows up there you might have to hit pause but you'll see here where this little arrow is this is where you're coming up the road into ruthie's lane off wagner you come up the driveway and your first pull in over here will be the block garage of course if you come up around here by the mobile home that i'm parked um man where am i parked i'm probably parked like right over here because this whole black line that you see this is how the tax map shows up on the courthouse then it kind of has a stair step kind of a wiggy jiggy thing wiggy jiggy that is a professional real estate term actually it looks like they even given the address of 55 ruthie to that block garage i think there had been a business there years ago of course here's the top of the house and here's the top of that now the reason i wanted to show you this too what the owner was told by somebody is that over in here there was public water and at one time that was offered that could be run for like six or seven grand but of course you'd have to get updated information on that to see if that's still accurate because as of right now the properties has the well which you see over here then and that's what services the house um it is the house is tied into the public sewer and i'll show you where that clean out is um anyhow let me keep walking and talking here so it's old lake coming township i think i already told you that we're real close here to route 220 so if you're looking to commute here's the carport area and there's just some parking area here in the back or this is where you put the junk you don't want anybody to see and i kind of show you here and of course here this hill i guess is somewhere real close to where the boundary line is there but just kind of trying to show you the best i can here the the building it's vacant so you're welcome to drive up here anytime you want to show you inside here Hopefully nobody jumps out at me or any critters in here. All right, so you can see it's, uh, I don't have an exact dimension, but it's big. I'm going to, let's say, say each of these are eight foot, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six of those. So it might be 48, say 50 foot by whatever cross there where you think that is probably a good 18 foot across, but it's a big building. Now you can see here some of the metal roofing's getting older couple holes in there that need patched or replace some metal roofing there but nice nice just nice uh big storage barn or garage uh let's see here what else we get big like nice nice level area here i guess if you want to put a swing set up here or something this would be the area to do it financing is going to be a little tricky on this one these older mobile homes forget the government back loans like what i always refer to as the alphabet soup of financing the fhas and the phfa they're not happening here you're going to have to either do cash or conventional or a local bank loan and you can see here it's heated with oil so that's an outside tank so you have to put that gel bell stuff in there to keep it from freezing in the winter and this kind of utility room here there's your well um or your actually your expansion tank for the well water 
that door there is access to the hot water heater. And this is just kind of, like I said, a little utility room. All right, so we'll shut that door here. I wanted to show you that. And then, really, you know, this is kind of the back door. If you live here, really, you pull up in here, you come in this door. Now, here we're going in that uh, addition. So this is wooden uh, addition here. I don't know what you call this here. Maybe just some sort of a mudroom area. And then here you get a big, big open living room, dining room, kitchen area. This is really, really nice size. Uh, here you can kind of see where that would have probably been an exterior wall at one time. And they open it up with the archways to put the addition on. Um, but it looks like a lot of the windows, see these are the vinyl windows, double pane with the flippy dippy things for easy cleaning. Yes, flippy dippy is a professional real estate term. And you can see here, it's kind of living room area. Lots of sunlight in this, because here I'm facing south actually. So this would be east to my left, of course, west to my right. So a lot of morning sunshine coming in this, this room right here. And it's kind of be like a dining area in here. Yeah, let's see what else we got going here. Oh, and look at this bad boy. This is modern technology electronics. Look at that a track. Uh huh. And I don't know what that is. That's probably the dial for the radio, but I can't really see that then. So what do we got? Oh, one time you could have hooked this up to the phonograph, AM, FM stereo, or the tape of the a track to be exact then. I don't think that probably works, or if it does, I'm not sure. Or there's a lot of electronic equipment laying right there. Who knows what's going on there? But man, my dad had E-Tracks back in the day, and Johnny Cash and Conway Twitty, and of course, always the Elvis greats. But here, as I'm reminiscing, you can see this is the kitchen area. What you see is what you'll get. They'll leave the appliances if you want them. Um, the personal stuff they can get out of here, or you can have it. Um, now, of course, here's another door looking south, and we go back outside. I'll show you that. Of course, got the hallway. Here's your furnace. As I mentioned, that's uh, oil there. And then this is one of your two bedrooms. So this is a smaller bedroom there, probably about seven foot by nine foot maybe. Not a real big room. There's a closet. There's a little, could be back in there then. Ooh, yuck. I don't know what that is. Kind of scary looking. So let's continue on our adventure here at 75 Ruthie's. I don't know who Ruthie's is, but a pretty cool you know most of Ruth's you know they're really nice ladies aren't they of course there's babe Ruth he wasn't a lady let's see Ruth Buzzy but you young folk won't know who that is just as older people so here's the shower oh and then here you have a stackable washer dryer for the laundry hookup I think they work and I think they're included um got the double check got the double sink oh man look at that scary guy ah, Bobby Booby there Okay, and then we've got the master bedroom. Now, this is actually a nice size room in here, and this has the, you know, built-in dresser here, bigger closet, and this is probably the, let's see, the breaker box here. Yeah, so this is breaker box. I can't read that, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm going to say that's probably 100, but it could be an old 60 amp or two. Now, here, this doesn't have the newer windows on this end so just kind of pointing out what i can here for you all right let me do this here let me turn some lights off in here i'm gonna hit pause and then i'll i'll be right back out and we'll show you the outside and then that lower garage too okay now i'm back outside here and you can see see where i'm at there kind of where we started so i'm kind of about the middle of the lot here i guess here i'm walking down you see where there's a concrete drive super cool century 21 first choice reality sign what I wanted to show you out here, okay, so of course here, you, you know, it's tiered here, slope, and it levels out there in the back by that other garage, and of course it levels out here, but I saw the other day, I think it was under one of these buckets, oh my god, I hope there's not a creature underneath here, I'm going to scream, yeah, this is, yeah, I think they said that's where the clean out is for the for the sewer line, let's see what's underneath that one. Yeah, so this must be where the public sewer came up through and it probably goes up way that way. Or maybe they were having fun, they went do 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 with it, boom, goes into the house, boom. But here you see it's a block garage. Of course, this is all part of it. And this is, I mean, a beautiful Southern view here. 
You can see here I'm looking east. Today we have nice weather. The garage, as I mentioned, they call it 55 Ruthies. This actually has its own electric there too. Um, and there's the door. So let me uh, let me see here if this door's door's unlocked. Oh, hold on a second. Let me push pause. I'm gonna unlock the door. Beer. Okay, I'm back. Got the door unlocked. So here we're going in. I guess I'll call this an office area of the garage or maybe a storage area. It's got some shelves, but it's probably a good you know, 10 by 10 in here. Then we walk into the main part of the garage. I'm just going to kind of stand here and scan for a second so you can kind of see. I I don't have measurements, guys. I'm so sorry, but it's got to be 6, 12, 18. Boy, that's got to be 30 foot across, so maybe 30 by 30 or real close to it. The... Uh, Let's see, it looks like there's some sort of a gas furnace. Not sure if that's operable or not, but that's got like a newer gas line to it, doesn't it? There's an old, looks like, what's that, old wood stove. Now back in here, you'll see, this is where there's a little hot water heater on demand back in there, and there's the pump to draw the water in from here. Now, when they were running, of course, here's the, hey, there's a thrown in a sink in here then. Now this, they do not think, goes into the public sewer. That may be going into an old cesspool or an old septic tank. They truly just don't know. And of course, remember that second garage that we were looking at? It's higher on the hill. Here we go. I don't know if there's enough lights. The ceiling, there's only one, two, three, four, five. So hopefully five lights is enough for you. But it is a nice area for, you know, for working in. A lot of, a lot of storage spot, space. Looks like there's some scrap boards too up there. Never can find the right scrap board when you need it. One of the things I was mentioning earlier was the um, financing. Uh, you're going to have to have a little bit of money to work with or maybe equity in another property. Um, boy, those people have a nice paved driveway. But here I'm looking west now, guys. So I'm in the garage here looking west. And what was the other thing I was going to tell you there? I can't think what it was, but... If uh, you have any questions I haven't answered, please let me know. Now back in here, of course, here's another garage door here. No, the Jeep is not included. That's the owner's, just where they park it. But this is a nice stall. You're probably a good 12, 13 foot across by whatever the length of this garage is. It's a little bit shorter than this area over here. So let me think. You know what? I'll walk you outside here. Man, I, I've tried to show you everything I can. There's that perspective looking at it from the garage up. Let's see what we got back here. So there's where that door is to go into where the Jeep is parked. Of course, it looks like they got some goodies stored out here. Getting more scrap wood. So there you guys go. Yeah, I hope that was informational and you got what you needed. If you have any questions, please, you know, reach out to me again. I'm Bob Boob. I work with Century 21 First Choice Realty. My telephone number will be up or down here somewhere, but my cell is 570-220-0741. Thank you guys very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.